Palace Grill opened 86 years ago. Firefighters have not named an official cause for the fire, but a preliminary investigation indicates a grease fire started in the kitchen next to a grill all morning. Regular customers, uh, including even employees of this restaurant, have been coming by heartbroken to see what has happened. Many Palace Grill regulars showed up to find the restaurant boarded up every Friday. Several residents at Rush University Medical Center met here for breakfast to relax after a long week. Sort of our, you know, light at the end of the tunnel at the end of the shift. We come here, have a good time, meet some good people. So we're sad to see it for sure. The fire broke out at the restaurant at Madison and Loomis at about 10 last night. A fire department spokesman says firefighters had to cut a hole in the roof and pour a considerable amount of water on the flames. No one was injured. It's the closest place we've ever really felt like family here in the neighborhood. Um, George always comes over to say hello and see how the kids are doing. Uh, the staff here at the restaurant is always taking really good care of us. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a heartbreaking thing. George Lamparis's family took over the business in 1955. The mayor's chief of staff called and told him his diner was on fire. Stunned, it's sad. I've hit every emotion. I was in, inside crying before. You know, this is a very special restaurant to me. It's a special restaurant to the city. Located across the street from the city's 911 center and five blocks from the United Center, the restaurant was popular among first responders, politicians, pro athletes and sports fans. Sports memorabilia and autographed celebrity photos adorned the walls. There's so much tradition here. You, you look at the pictures on the walls, you see all kinds of uh, Chicago royalty stopping by. So yeah, it'll be missed. As the owner tries to figure out his next steps, neighbors and longtime customers hope he rebuilds. George, you can do it. We'll be waiting. <laughs> When he was Vice President Al Gore treated Russia's Prime Minister to breakfast here at the Palace Grill. Also, many businesses on Madison were destroyed during the riots that followed Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination in 1968. Palace Grill survived. On the West Side, Judy Wang, WGN News.